In this video we're going to be looking at negative indices. This all looks very complicated, but it really isn't. All the rule is saying is that if A is raised to a negative value, it is equal to the reciprocal. And what we do with the reciprocal in our fractions is denominator becomes a numerator, and numerator becomes the denominator. So we just flip them around. And the same over here. A to a positive value is the same as the reciprocal of a positive value over the negative raised value. So let's consider this little problem by way of proving this reciprocal. If we use index law number two, we can do the following. This could be A to minus five and that would give us a to the value of negative 3. And a different way of doing this is we could say a multiplied by a all over a multiplied by a multiplied by a multiplied by a multiplied by another a. And now we can simply simplify. And then we can multiply this out. So we can say 1 times 1 is going to give us 1 all over 1 times 1 is 1 multiplied by a multiplied by another a multiplied by another a is going to give us a to the power of 3. So now bringing both of these together we could therefore say that a to the negative 3 is the same as 1 over a to the power of 3 and we can see that this over here is purely a reciprocal of that over there. So just explaining this a little further, if we had a to the power of negative 3, we could write that as a fraction by putting it over 1. And then if we wanted to do the reciprocal, obviously we move our denominator to our numerator and numerator to our denominator, and we end up with something like this. 1 over a to the power of 3. And why is it to the power of 3? because when we move our negative 3 from the top down to the bottom, it loses its negative, so it becomes a positive. And likewise, the reciprocal of this would then become a to the negative 3. And why is it negative 3? Well, we've moved it from the bottom, and we've brought it back up to the top. So because it's a positive coming up to the top, we have to put a little negative in there. All over 1. And as you can see, we started here, and we've ended up here by doing reciprocals. All right, let's have a little bit of practice by expressing the following with positive indices only. So we want to express this with a or as a positive indice only. And remember, we just need to do the reciprocal of this to get our answer. Put the video on pause and come back when you're ready and see if you got it right. Well, the reciprocal of this is going to be 1 over x to the power of 4. And that would be our answer. All right, well, let's have a look at question B. See if we can uh, sort this one out. Put the video on pause and come back when you're ready. All right, well, we need to use positive indices only. So I'm going to break this up into smaller pieces. So I'm going to break that over there and then that over there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to write them as a fraction. So 4 as a fraction is the same as 4 over 1 multiplied by, this over here obviously is now a reciprocal. So it's going to be 1 over x to the power of 3. So 1 over x to the power of 3. And y to the power of 4, we're just going to write as y to the power of 4 all over 1. Because that's how we can write y to the power of 4 as a fraction. Next is we simply multiply it out. So I'm going to multiply 4 by 1, multiplied by y to the power of 4, and I'm going to get 4y to the power of 4 all over 1 times x cubed multiplied by 1 gives me x cubed. And that would be my answer. All right, well, here's the next one. Put the video on pause and give it a go. Come back when you're ready. Right, well, simply we need to rewrite this as a reciprocal. So this y to the negative 4 needs to come up to the top. So that would become simply y 
to the power of 4. And that would be correct. Right, here's the next one. Put the video on pause and come back when you're ready. Alright, well we've got two little things going on here. First of all, we need to have a look at this one. And we need to do a reciprocal of that. And then we need to have a look at this one and do the reciprocal of that one too. So, looking at x to the negative 2, we can rewrite that as 1 over power x to the power of 2. And because we're doing a reciprocal, we can go multiplied by, and we need to move this up to the top. So the reciprocal of this is going to become y to the power of 3 over 1. The next thing we need to do is just multiply our numerators and then multiply our denominators. And we end up with 1 multiplied by y cubed is y cubed. And x squared multiplied by 1 becomes x squared. And if you look at this over here, the reciprocal of this is exactly this over here. We've taken our x to the negative 2 and it has become our denominator. Our denominator of y to the negative 3 has become our numerator. We've just flipped them over. There we go. Alright, here's the next one. Remember we need to express these using positive indices only. Put the video on pause, come back when you're ready. Well, 6 is already positive, and so is x squared positive. The only negative we've got is this y to the negative 3. And all we need to do is do the reciprocal of that and bring it up to the top. So we can have 6 is what we know already. x squared is already a positive, so we'll just leave it there. Now we're just going to bring this up to the top, and that becomes y to the power of 3. And that's our answer. All right, now here are some normal type of sums. See if you can sort these ones out, find the answers. Put the video on pause and come back when you're ready. Right, well, this one, obviously, we've got to do the reciprocal, so we'll rewrite that one as 1 over 3 to the power of 3, and we'll go 1, and that is the same as 3 times 3 times 3. So 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27, so the answer is 1 over 27. Question B involves two things. The first thing, I'm going to leave negative 3 where it is, up at the top, and because this is a division, I'm going to do the reciprocal of a division, which is multiplication. And obviously I'm going to move this over here back up to the top because that's a negative 3. So I'm going to bring it up to the numerator. Right, let's see how that all works out. Right, well, negative 3 stays where it is. And because this is a division, I'm going to turn it into a multiplication. And I'm going to bring my reciprocal up. So it's negative 3 multiplied by 2 to the power of 3. And remembering BIMDAS laws, we need to do our indices first. Equals negative 3 multiplied by 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. And then negative 3 multiplied by 8 is going to give me negative 24. And that would be my answer. Right, question C involves rule number 5, which states that we can add the power to each number inside the bracket. So we'll do that. 1 to the power of negative 2 over 3 to the power of negative 2. Well, now we've got negative powers over here, so now we actually need to do some reciprocals of each of these. So 1 to the negative 2 is the same as 1 over 1 to the power of 2. The reciprocal of a division is a multiplication. And the reciprocal of 3 to the negative 2 is the same as 3 to the power of 2 over 1. So now I'm going to sort my indices out. So I'll have 1 over 1 to the power of 2 is the same as 1, multiplied by 3 to the power of 2 is 9 over 1. 1 times 9 is 9, 1 times 1 is 1, and simplified gives me the answer of 9. Well done. 
Well, there you go. That's working with negative indices.